Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a company update and we're also going to do a frequently asked questions session at the end. Before we start we get a lot of questions asking about what kind of stuff we put on our bikes so we have made a uh, purchase list that we will be including in the description that has everything that we bought for the Suron. So to begin with here's an update about controller restocking. If you aren't aware, our main product is a controller kit for the Suron X. The controller we use is the BAC4000 from Accelerated Systems because it is the best aftermarket motor controller for the Suron. There are others who sell this product for the Suron, but what separates us from all of our competitors is that we have the best tune on the market, we have the best customer service, and we stand behind our product with a remote tune if necessary. On top of all that, as far as we are aware, we are the only company that currently offers a kit that includes a display with power adjustability along with the ability to adjust other parameters on the controller. The main problem we have been facing with our business is getting stock for our product. Last Tuesday, we posted our second controller drop of 25 controllers. A day before the drop, we posted on our Instagram and on our YouTube community page, notifying people that the drop would occur at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. At 6 p.m., when we attempted to update our stock, our website crashed from excess traffic. At 6.05, we got it back online, and at that point, we sold out in just three minutes. We had a large number of people tell us that they did not get notifications. We looked into this, and everything we can find suggests that community posts do send out notifications for subscribers that have notifications turned on, and we received a notification on our alternate account. If you did not get a notification and you think you should have, please confirm that you have notifications turned on, or follow our Instagram. YouTube is known for delaying notifications as they have to individually queue and send every one. We're sorry if you were one of those people, but that is out of our control. We also got a massive influx of emails from people they were disappointed that they missed out, and many people have requested preferential treatment as soon as we get stock. We want to make it clear that we do not give out preferential treatment, and we want everyone to have a fair shot at getting their hands on one. Those who actively follow our communication mediums closely and are diligent about being ready to buy whenever we restock will be rewarded with the product that they purchase. We get hundreds of emails every month from customers who want to get their hands on one of our kits and we are very frustrated ourselves that we can't meet the demand. Our suppliers are doing their best to get us products. We are ordering as much product as we can possibly afford as frequently as we are able to. We hope that with the distribution of the vaccine and the recovery of the economy, these supply issues will soon be a thing of the past. Until then, we appreciate all of your patience and we truly hope you understand we are doing all we possibly can to get you guys the best service and the best product that we are able to. A lot of our competitors will overpromise and underdeliver. Riley and I will only take on what we know we can deliver on. We will never leave a customer hanging out to dry. If that means that we can't sell the volume that we would like to on pre-orders or whatever that may be, that's a sacrifice that we are willing to make if it means we keep our word. So beyond the controller, we mentioned in a few videos back that we are also going to be selling batteries. We have already worked with a supplier to prototype and order a battery for the Suron that we plan on selling. We are expecting it to arrive next week as we have received tracking and we are going to thoroughly test it. From there, we will decide if we are satisfied and if we are, then we will start doing orders. What will likely happen is that we will need to do pre-orders. These batteries are incredibly expensive and not something that would be easy for us to stock anyway due to the demand. We have waited over 40 days due to LiPo batteries not being shipped by air. Any pre-order will have a minimum lead time to reflect that as well as COVID related supply issues. Getting into the specifications of this battery, it will have four times the stock peak power, have 50% more range, and the size of it will be probably slightly smaller than the stock battery so that they are hot swappable without any modifications to the battery compartment. Another important characteristic is that it will be a 60 volt rather than a 72 volt, so, you don't get, so you'll get more torque at the same power and you don't have to worry about the increased motor speeds and it'll also work with the stock controller. 
All in all, we are really excited about this and can't wait to get it out to everyone. Something else that we've been working on that we're really excited about is we're going to be partnering with Wicked Wheelworks, which, by the way, we'll have a video on his killer wheel sets here soon, and we'll be bringing you guys custom wheel sets for the Suron. They will likely come as a buildable kit that you can assemble yourself and we'll make a tutorial on that. So look forward to that in the near future. So now we are just going to do a FAQ because we get asked the same question so often. So starting with uh, the first question here is when will you have more controllers in stock? And the answer to that is we honestly don't ever know. We usually don't find out until about 72 hours before we post them and that's the best we got. We could wait for them to arrive and then post something and wait a week to sell them, but the longer we wait, the longer it takes to get the next order going. Another question we get very often is how you guys can better keep track of when our kits go live. As we mentioned earlier, diligently checking the channel and our Instagram are the best ways. Beyond that, enable notification alerts should give you push notifications on your phone every time we post to YouTube or Instagram. If you are unsure how to set this up, you can give it a quick Google and I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. So the next question is, will we be selling the BAC 8000 slash why are we not selling it currently? And the answer is, we don't have any plans to sell the BAC 8000 and we are planning on making a full video about this. But long story short, it's completely overkill for the surround stock motor. And the only real benefit is better heat dissipation in extreme climate. The question that we hear a lot, especially in our YouTube uh, comment section, is why are we spending so much money on a toy? And the answer is, we feel the Suron is a much more capable bike than most people give it credit for. We think that it's created its own category in the electric market, and it's better than any other bike at what it does. It may not seem possible, but Riley and I are pretty adamant about the fact that for most riders on a $6,000 Suron, that's you know the base price plus throwing some, uh, some extra parts on here and there, will have more opportunities and more fun than you would otherwise have on a $6,000 used full-size bike. That's not to say that it's better or faster, but we just feel that a lot of people will enjoy the, their experience on a Suron more than a full-size dirt bike. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of things in the works that we aren't able to finish yet and we don't want to rush them. The weather in the Pacific Northwest gets really shitty going into winter and it takes a while before things dry up enough to ride again. We're doing our best to put out entertaining and informational videos even though we would rather be riding. <laughs> videos you can expect to see in the following months are why the BAC 8000 is overkill, how to get the biggest and best tires humanly possible on the Suron, how to do a tubeless NewTek 2.0 installation, how durable is the mountain bike tubeless on the Suron that we've already done a video on. We'll be destroying that as requested and we will be running that down at as low as 6.9 PSI to see how bad it slips. We'll also be doing a rear suspension video where we compare the coil Fox shock versus the air Fox shock. And then we will also be doing a video about five things we love about the Suron. You might have seen our video, five things we hate about the Suron, but guess what? We like it too, so we'll make a video on that. <laughs> also, as soon as we get the battery, we're going to be posting a video on that. We're really excited about this one. Um, can't wait to, to run some serious power through these things. After that, we are hoping that it's dry enough to ride again. We'll do a video on our settings for the Fox 40, and we'll also be doing a bunch of sick wheelies, hopefully with Saronster. And then we'd like to go back to Agnes as well. We had a great time there last time. Um, so we have a lot of stuff in the works. All right, everybody, that's it for today's video. Um, we hope you liked it. We'll be posting a transcript of the FAQ session on our website, and please Smash that like button if you found this helpful or enjoyed it. And if you would like to uh, see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you guys and have a good day.